this is code.org. Let's take a shot at randomizing two shapes. Randomize two shapes together. Sometimes you want to randomize parts of a drawing but still have the shapes work together. You can often do this by variables and math operators plus minus multiply divide. This tree drawing okay, uses height to control the height of the tree trunk and vertical positions of the leaves. It uses width to set the width of the trunk. A different leaves width variable controls the size of the leaves. Okay, leaves width, width. So like they're saying this is the width of the trunk variable. Okay, notice the range of variables width and width leaves. Yep, but width is 10 to 100. Leaves is 20 to 200. Wow, so it, I guess, can be twice as big. How are they different? Yep, twice as big. What does the... Oh, well, sometimes that's not... Yeah, it's way too t small, way too large, uh, does it say? Yep, too small, got it. Edit the code. Oh, edit the code so that the width of the leaves is always exactly double the width of the trunk. Ah, that's genius. So then it will never be too small. Well, okay, if it's always going to be exactly double, let's see where we use leaves here. Leaves, it's right here, and here is where we are using it. So, if that's where we're using it, hmm, then we need to make sure that leaves width is always double the width. There's a couple ways we could do that. We could do it this way, right? Instead of having it be a random number, we don't want leaves width to be a random number. Now we want it to be exactly something. Exactly what? Well, we want it to be width times 2. Well, now leaves width is equal to width times 2. And it will always be exactly double the width of our tree. The other way we could have done this, if we wanted to get rid of this variable, you could actually put down here width times 2 and width times 2. This would also work. Either way is correct. Cool. Now we have a fully functional tree. Yay! Onward.